it's knowing how numbers work, knowing what patterns uh, are, are out there and kind of knowing what you expect an answer to be. Although, I mean, another part of maths that I've always loved is the counterintuitive bit where you expect an answer to be something and it actually turns out to be something completely different. Um, uh, there are a lot of puzzles that are like that. And I've always loved that side of maths and getting surprised by maths and so on. So it's almost like the creative side of maths that appeals to me most. Uh, and this sort of having a feel for numbers and estimation, I see as being a bit like a part of that, that creative side, really. Does the, does, would the emergence of z-equals, though, take away some of that magic? Like, you know, those little patterns that people find in digits, like, oh, the digits add up to this, and the little quirks of exact numbers. Are you, are you taking away some of the text? <laughs> uh, no, this is complementing those things, really, because uh, I'm using this for when I'm sitting in a football crowd, for example, and waiting for the match to start, looking at the stand, thinking, I wonder how many people are in today, and I wonder how much they paid. Uh, and you look at that and think, you know, they paid... 50 quid for their ticket and there's you know county down the rows and the, the college you can sort of see well it's about 23 down it's about 58 across we'll call that 20 times and you can just work it out i love being able to work things out off the cuff like that so that's where this belongs but you know there's another very beautiful side to maths which uh, of course the exact answer is much more important the you gave a really good example of, at the football can you think of any more examples? Because I quite like I quite like the idea of someone thinking, where would I use where would I use a zequal? Yeah. What's a zequal opportunity? Zequal opportunity. Uh, I think. Um, I didn't uh, mean that, by the way. That's but really it's cool, good, isn't it? it? Yeah. Zequal. <laughs> uh, so it's sort of does this answer make sense? Uh, and we're doing calculations like that all the time, or perhaps a lot of people aren't doing calculations like that all the time, and they should do. I think it's great training to just go around and say, you know what? I don't have to know. Uh, how much revenue this McDonald's is bringing in every week, but it's kind of interesting to know. It's quite empowering to know that. Rob, you've you've got a book out which talks about as equals. Are you kind of advocating this as just a little a little skill, a little handy life skill, or are you pushing further? Are you saying maybe we should be formalising this and making this part of how we? educate people at those lower levels, or is this just a fun thing? Well, that's a good question. I, I don't like imposing anything on anybody. I like, like people to discover. If people like this, it will spread, it will go viral, and that is good. But I, I just think uh, estimation is such an important skill uh, that anything that can be done to make it accessible and almost it allows you to just teach it in a in a, in a particular way, it takes away some of how am I going to teach estimation. So the thought of z-equals uh, uh, being something, you know, you could just take uh, a group of teenagers, a group of adults, anyone, and say, you know, in, in 20 minutes, I'm going to teach you how to be able to multiply 137.8 times 469 uh, and come up with an answer that's pretty realistic, with, realistic without, a, uh, without a calculator. I think that's, that's a really good, empowering thing. And it, 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 you know, we've actually brought that to the front of the book as kind of one of the three skills that you should leave school with. You know, let's forget your exams for a moment, all the things you have to do. Uh, chances are you're not going to have to factorise a quadratic equation very much when you leave school, but you are going to be faced by numbers and have to sort of uh, look at them and say, does that make sense? Am I being ripped off? And this is just one of the tool part of the toolkit for that. You use the term there, teaching estimation, which I find a funny thing, to m being educated to estimate, whereas to me estimating is kind of like guessing, like how, yeah. how do you teach someone to guess, but yeah. it's, there's more to estimating yeah. than guessing. Yeah, well I say guess guessing is what sadly a lot of people do, you know, I, I, I'm going to guess what the answer and see if the teacher tells me it's right, and I, uh, you know, estimation is a, a definite, you know, it's, it's you doing something very active where you know what you're doing, uh, but it's kind of knowing when it's appropriate to round a number. You gave uh, some nice examples and one catastrophic failed example <laughs> uh, involving multiplication. Is, is, this a, is this purely for multiplication? No, you can use it for all of the, uh, the, the, the basic operations. So, uh, you know, you start with addition. You could say, uh, what's uh, 17 plus 28? Well, you can z equals that and uh, make it 20 plus 30 
equals 50. So uh, you're rounding up, say it's about 50. And often, you know, the rounding, one number will be rounded up, the other one down. So actually, it'll be often very accurate as, a, as an answer. You can use it for uh, a division in a way, you know. Um, if you've got some calculation like, I don't know, um, 178 divided by uh, 22, that's quite hard to do. But if we uh, z equals that, then we've got 180, in fact, even rounded even more, 180, which equals it to 200, divided by 20, well, that's 10. And that's, you know, it's not too far off. Uh, and 180 divided by 20 is 9, that's even closer. But, you know, in many situations, that's close enough.